Hi, Cancer, and welcome you with Amira Salon. And this is your reading for March 2017. Hope you're having a fabulous year so far moving forward. I'm going to be using my Amira's Love Oracle cards, finishing off with a, a, a piece of, a, sorry, a tarot from the um, Albano Weight Tarot deck. I've just got a small announcement to make first, just before we start. I've got my Amira's Love Oracle cards on sale on my website. The link is here below. Um, I've got a two-for-one offer as well and shipping also to Canada and the rest of the world as well, well as the United States. Um, the two-for-ones have got slightly dented boxes because they've been in and out of transit of shops etc and, um, and the actual cards and booklet inside are in perfect condition. So I do um, suggest to take advantage of this offer. It's a fabulous offer. So two for one with Amira's Love Oracle cards or you can buy your single card deck as well depending on what you prefer. So you might want to go in with a friend and share the cost of the two for one. For personal use, these are a great, great deck to have. And I don't actually keep the boxes, but for the cards that I purchase normally. Um, so it depends on how you use your cards. If you don't really care too much about the box, then go with the one with the slightly dented boxes and you'll get an extra deck. Okay, so here we go for your reading, Cancer. Um, the first card I have for you, Cancer, is Spiritual Growth. So spiritual growth is fantastic. This is about you really feeling like you are really connecting with spirit. You have a lot of spiritual ideas going on. You've got a lot of spiritual gifts. You feel really aligned with energy. It could be a very, very good month for meditation, for tuning into spirit, for receiving messages from spirit and um, general spiritual types of um, things that you might want to get involved with. It could even be going to a retreat or something like that. Then we've got the um, Destiny card. So the Destiny card is all about um, being aligned with destiny. This is about things being written in the stars, happening by chance or destiny, someone coming into your life by destiny, destiny taking its course. So it's sort of like you just have to kind of maybe um, let go and let God a little bit this month with these cards that are coming up here and just see what happens you've got a destined month you've got destined things happening so let's have a look further and see what exactly is going on got a friendship card so friendship here is like people helping you you helping others collaborating coming together for a project maybe with um, some people that you meet some acquaintances or friends uh, meeting somebody through friends or groups or networking and I am picking up actually a name for you, Cancer, for this month. It can be first or second name or family name initial. I'm picking up a B initial for Bob, Belinda, Brianna, Brian, Br Bryce or Brees. Yes, so it's mainly, mainly a B, a very strong B name. First or second name, it's going to relate to some of you, meaning somebody coming into your life or it could be you as well. Okay, so short term. So something's going to happen very quickly. You could feel that time is ticking, that uh, things are going to come to a head very quickly about something. There could be a um, person coming into your life very quickly that might just take off quickly or, or it might take off and finish very quickly. So if you are single and dating, you might be going on a date and then you, it might end abruptly or you might not see that person again. Or it's saying that there's something that's going to happen that's that might only have a short time frame associated to it for whatever reason, or it could come under something happening in a short time frame, so very, very quickly. Okay. Then we've got the young male. So the young male is all about sports activities. He's about cars moving forward. You might be looking at a new car. This could be the young male coming into your life for, for, a, for a short term thing or a, or a situation or you might be revisiting a, a, a young male, even if you're male or female, same-sex relationship, or if you're looking for a, a, a male, it could be a man coming into your life who is younger than you. He could be up to seven years younger. Usually the, um, the age differences, if you're looking at age differences, seven years is usually the benchmark for age differences. And the Chinese actually say it's really fortunate to have seven years either younger or older in a relationship because it brings people from a different generation into your life and makes them less similar to you. Um, and sometimes when people are too similar or too much alike in the same, same sort of 
age group it becomes like a brother sister type of relationship so young male so this could be a young man coming into your life or you could also be the young male yourself and then the courting man this can be the same man as the um, young male or courting man this is often a man who wears a business suit to work he's often a professional a doctor dentist somebody a banker for example real estate agent somebody who wears a uniform like a fireman, a military personnel, a police officer. <laughs> so um, we've got the courting man here. So he's coming in. He could be the young male. He could be somebody else. If you're same-sex relationship, you could be the young male and you could have the courting man come in around you. If you are looking for a man and you're a female, this could be the courting man could be the young male, so we'll see what happens with that one. Or it could be two different people. I kind of feel that you might hear from somebody from the past because we've got a past love here. So a past love might be recircling back into your life to finish off a chapter with you or to take things to the next level. If you've been wanting to hear from a past love or have forgotten about a past love even, sometimes a past love will try to reconnect with you. So you might hear from a past love or you might be healing your heart from somebody that you've just broken up with it could be this short-term relationship that might have already happened and you might be healing your heart from this past love so you're going to have to place that it's going to sort of fit differently for each person if you are married and in a relationship or in a partnership with someone somebody from your past might just try to check in with you to see what you're up to and um, it could open old wounds or it might not depending on how you're feeling about this person at the time so it's going to be one of those things, I feel, and I'm still picking up that B name too, first or second name. The last card here, which is the um, Albano Weight Tarot, is the Seven of Pentacles. So this is about options and choices. It looks like you've got a lot of things on the table, contemplation, contemplating options and choices. You might be meditating on options and choices with a spiritual growth card as well. You could be presented with various people through friends could be this young male courting man past love it could be three different people even I feel like there's multiples of people here so there could be just options and choices of how you're going to move forward what's going to happen good for money because we've got money here in the in the card so there could be good money things going on for you this month cancer so that's always a good thing but emotionally you might be just trying to sort out people so it's kind of like sorting out the wheat from the chaff and um, putting things into perspective, putting the past into perspective, having a realization about something that might have happened to you in the past. It could be an ex boyfriend or girlfriend or an ex husband or wife or fiance or something, or it could even be just somebody that you were kind of like a little crazy about. So you might be just putting this person into perspective because I do really feel there's a lot of contemplation here that you're looking at and, um, and that's an interesting one. Check out your moon sign and rising sign for further information and see what else is um, coming up for you for the, for the month of March. Sometimes these readings do take effect earlier. If I do put the videos up earlier, sometimes they're all already taking effect. Check um, in the show more section below this video to calculate your sun, moon and rising sign and actually your whole birth chart. It's a free birth chart calculator. Also connect with me on my social media pages, which is all below here in the connection to and the link for my oracle cards i wish you all the very best moving forward lots of love and angel blessings and until next time check out my weekly videos ciao for now